Welcome to the Words to Empower podcast, featuring Bishop Frank Stewart, pastor of the Acts Ministry in Conway and North Little Rock, and now, Pastor Stewart. Trying to push it out. Now, it is, I would rather deal with that than to deal with complacency. I would rather deal with folks struggling because they've seen something better than those that become comfortable where they are. He says, the baby is right there. What are we going to do? How do we get this thing out of us? How do we give birth to this that is so much bigger when it seemed like the birth canal? We hadn't dilated our mind, our thinking enough to give birth to the thing that God has placed within us. You got to have the right midwives around you. In Egypt, they had midwives that knew how to bring it forth. You can't be around folks that when your water break, they run to get a mop. And that's where some of us are. The person around you can't help you. Their baby has already died in their womb. But here, the midwives, the right, the right people around you, the right people that, that knows that, hey, I know what that looked like. I know what it looked like when you didn't seem bigger and you're stuck in less. Oh, good God. I know what it looked like when you have a vision for your house and your marriage, but yet you're stuck where you are. When it's long, prolonged labor, it becomes frustrating. Because you can see it, but you can't get to it. But you got to have the right midwives around you. Look at somebody, you need to check the midwives around you. Yeah, you need to check them because some of them, they're not midwives. They just sitting there saying, ain't that baby moving? They, they, they spectators. They looking. Oh, everybody that take an ultrasound can't deliver a baby. You got folks around you that saying, ooh, that baby's growing, but they can't bring it forth. Whew. Wow, that's good. That's good. Feel me. Feel me in here because he's talking to us. He's talking to the way we've been looking, our faces, our expression. And, and, and when that baby gets stuck, if you're not careful, bitterness will set in. Bitterness will set in. That's why it's important that you must put the right midwives around you. You got to have people around you that can tell you when to push. You need people around you to say, okay, calm down. Take a break right now. Because if you're pushing when you should be calm, you're going to get frustrated after a while. Anybody in here tired of where you are physically, spiritually, emotionally, financially, you know that something bigger is trying to come out of you. But the midwives around us. The folks is trying to help us. If we're not careful, we surround ourselves with negative people. They're telling that we can't do it. You need somebody around you to tell you some good is getting ready to happen to you. Some good is getting ready to happen to you. Oh, yeah, I see it's breached. Oh, yeah, I see it's happening. But you know what? We're going to push it back in, and we're going to bring it out. We're going to dilate our thinking. Because if you're dealing with what I'm dealing with, it's bigger than what I've dilated to. Sometimes the baby's so big that the shoulders get broke. The bones, is, the, the shoulders are too big to come out. 
And if you're not careful, you will find yourself. Passion is one thing, and, and you can't have passion without anger. For all you that don't realize that, you cannot have passion without anger. And when all the pain, birth is painful, and most of us don't do good communicating when we're in pain. Oh, I'm going to preach it anyhow. We don't do well when we're in pain. But you need somebody to say, I know why you feel that way. I know why you're doing like that. Because the good you want to do, you're not doing. But the evil you don't want to do, you find yourself doing. You're tired. You're tired of acting one way in church. You're tired of the facade, the image. And you're ready to get down to some truth. Hezekiah said, it's a day of disgrace. Day of insults. He says, we've been pushing at this thing, and now we don't labor so long. You have to see it in the physical. They surrounded Jerusalem. They cut off water supply, cut off the food. They had been surrounded under siege for some years. And now he's saying, we don't have any strength. What you going to do, Hezekiah? Send for Isaiah. We need to get a midwife that can prophesy to our situation. We need to get a midwife and say, you know that thing that's in you? That thing that you grew up saying I want to be? That thing inside of you that's bigger than you? God told me to tell you, you're going to give birth to it. Don't you give up. I know you're in pain. Can I teach you? Can I teach you? Can I teach you? Let me, let, me, let me teach you. Let me teach you. If I don't help nobody else. I'm going to help me today. That's what's wrong with you. That's what, look at somebody. I said, that's what's wrong with you. I've been noticing for months. That's what's wrong with you. Huh? That's, that's what's wrong with you. Tell somebody, yeah, I see now. That's what's wrong with me. That's what's wrong. Romans chapter 8, verse 19. Get my on this, Jim. Stay tuned for more of Frank Stewart. And now for some special announcements. Thanks for partnering with the Axe Ministries. We value your service and your donations. That's why we've made it easy to make contributions to support our ministry. Simply go to your web browser and click the search bar and type in xministriesonline.org. Then click Donate Online. It's really that easy. For mobile giving, text the amount you wish to donate to 501-302-4242. That's Simple Give. And now, more of Pastor Frank Stewart. Okay, good, 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 good. You got the email. That's what, that's what happened when pregnant folks ate. Gander said I was in a different mood. Yeah, you're right. And most of the time, I can control my passion. Hello. Because when you, when you didn't see it, huh? I'm just talking to the people that done seen something bigger than you. I, I'm just talking to those that's got the vision. Because if you didn't see it and you're trying to get to it, it becomes frustrating. Watch this. New Living Translation. You got to get this. Romans chapter 8, starting verse 19. For all the creation is waiting eagerly for that future day when God will reveal who his children really are. Against its will, all creation was subject to God's curse. But with eager hope, the creation looked forward to the day when it would join God's children in glorious freedom from death and decay. For we know that all creation has been groaning as in pains of childbirth right up to the present time. What do you think is happening with Hurricane Michael and Hurricane Florence? What do you think is going on the earth? The earth is trying to give birth. The earth is saying, 
I see something better than this. You know what the earth is saying? I remember Eden. I remember Eden. So in an effort, the Bible says the earth is pregnant. That's why we're having hurricanes. That's why we're having tornadoes. Those are birth pains. And they waiting. The earth is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Did you know that? The hurricanes, the earthquakes. In your Bible, it is already said, it is said that for years, the earth is pregnant. And it's trying to push out a better planet. If you don't know Jesus, you need to get to know him real quick. Because sooner or later, and very soon, the earth is getting ready to give birth. And it's only giving birth to those that have the newness. I want to stay there because many of our children don't know that. Many of our children don't know that when they see hurricanes and earthquakes, the Bible is saying it is trying to give birth. It is laboring. It is not happy with us. An earthquake, when you see the, when you see the ground divide, that's nothing more than a stretch mark. When you see the hurricanes and tornadoes, that's nothing more than the water's broken. Everything in creation is travailing. Everything in creation is pregnant. Look at somebody and say, I'm pregnant too. I'm I'm pregnant too. I'm, I'm pregnant with a Jesus that I know exists that I hadn't been able to push out yet. I'm pregnant with the word that says we will lay hands on the sick. They shall recover. I'm pregnant with the word that says greater works. Trying to push it out. Trying to push it out. Trying to push it out. Trying to get it out. Verse 22 again. I want, I want us to get that. I want us to get that. Woo! Hallelujah. 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 For we know that all creation has been groaning as in pains of childbirth. It started groaning when Adam sinned. It's been in labor almost 6,000 years. 6,000 years, six is the number of man. So instead of nine months, when the total six is complete, it's going to give birth. Woo! Hallelujah. For we know all creation has been grown in as in pains of childbirth right up to the present time. Present time, right now, right now. Hurricane Florence, Hurricane Michael, all the flooding. The earth is saying, I'm trying to wash sin off of me. I'm trying to get to another place. And we believers also groan, verse 23. See, that's the problem. We got so many believers that are not groaning. We got so many believers that are complacent. They don't act like they in childbirth. They're not trying to push out something bigger and better than where they are. He says, we as believers also groan, even though we have the Holy Spirit within us as a foretaste of future glory. For we long for our bodies to be released from sin and suffering. We too wait with eager hope for the day when God will give us our full right as his adopted children, including the new bodies he has promised us. See, what happened when you got the Holy Ghost, it made you happy, it made you glad, but also it created a hunger because it was just a foretaste of what God is going to do when we give us new bodies. For mobile giving, 
text the amount you wish to donate to 501-302-4242. The Axe Church in North Little Rock is located at 1224 Franklin Street. Morning Glory begins at 8 a.m. on Sunday mornings. Sunday School begins at 8.30 a.m. And for a powerful word, join us at 9.30 a.m. for our morning worship service. Bible study is each Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. At our Conway location, Morning Glory begins at 10 a.m. Sunday School begins at 10.30 a.m. Worship service begins at 11.30 a.m. On Thursday, our Bible class begins at 6.30 p.m. For more information, go to axeministriesonline.org or give us a call at 501-329-2055. Thank you for tuning in to the Axe Ministry Podcast. The Axe Church is located at 1423 Indian Street in Conway and 1224 Franklin Street in North Little Rock, Arkansas. Tune in each day to hear an inspiring word from Pastor Frank Stewart. Hi, I'm Jackie Stewart, First Lady of Axe Ministries in both North Little Rock and Conway. And I want to invite you to this year's Winning Women Warriors Conference, November the 2nd through the 4th, right here. We have a guest speaker in the person of Bishop Ann Story Pratt from Springfield, Ohio. And you don't want to miss this powerful move of God. Our theme this year is Armed and Dangerous, coming from Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 18. So join us right here for a powerful move of God as we break out every chain as we annihilate the enemy coming armed and dangerous to this year's Winning Women Warriors Conference. For more details, see us at our website at www.axeministriesonline.org for more information. Come and join us right here. We look to see you there. God bless you is our prayer.